Many days have passed since the last downfall, and a lot has changed. The way I look upon life has gone from the world of negativity, pain and disbelief to one that is starkly opposite, one that I would never imagined of this time last year. Of course life always has its trials and tribulations, and to rest just what comes with being alive. But the tests that have been thrown at me recently are far less severe. I am grateful for what life has taught me, but like usual I sometimes find myself back where I was. I find myself reflecting at where I have come from, to where I am now. In some ways it's surreal, and I have to give credit to those who currently mean the most to me. Without them I would probably be to where I was. The vicious cycle of no win no gain. Where I was last year, is a place that I hope I shall never return to. I have sympathy for all the other people in world that have also been through the things that I have been through. Before all this happened I never understood how much it really hurts and how much of a challenge it is to fight and get over. I know there are still thousands of people out there in the position that I were in. Sadly, things like that happen all the time. In some ways, it is a life of total grief, but one that when you are in it you don't realize what is happening. But when you are able to walk over that massive brick wall that had been placed in front of you, you become less naive. You can see where you have come from and are glad that you are out and over the other side. Maybe I should tell you my story. The story of what has happened through seven years of grief that I have faced. My name is Clara and I live in a cosy semi-detached cottage, in small village, in the rolling hills of Yorkshire in northern England. Where I live there now has been home since my very humble beginnings 20 years ago. I love where I live there, but at times it has not been the easiest place to grow up especially when the nearest main road is 10 miles from my front door. I remember the days when the weather got rough and there was nothing to do, no one to play with, and nowhere to go. I am an only child. In some ways being an only child was hard because at times I were forced to live a life of solitude, with little company other than the love and care I got from my mother and father but in other ways I loved it just as much as where I lie there. Being an only child meant I have learnt to live with, and love my own company, enjoy the peace and quiet, and the adventures my surroundings offer me. The world is a wonderful place when you get on your two feet, and go out to explore it. Like many children at the age of five I went to school. My primary school was more than just school to me. Not only does my mum work there as an early years teaching assistant, it was a place of many happy memories. At school I had many friends. When I look back at my school days, I get floods of joyful emotions rushing back to me. To me school was an escape from my silent life. It was an opportunity to gain wisdom, grow and mature into the young woman I am today. A stark difference to my life at home. My father has a very important job, especially since we live in a very secluded area of the country. He works on the local farm, helping tend to the cattle, sheep and pigs. Like my mother, he has been working at the same the same place since I was a small child. I remember a day, when I was about three years of age going to work with him. The sun was shining and the sky was blue, and in the background, silence, nothing but the noise of the countryside, 
and the animals that lived there. I love my mother and father very dearly. They have always been there for me, through everything.